March 8th is International Women's Day. It is also a celebration of the Patsy T. Mink Equal Opportunity and Education Act, or Title IX. The legislation was drafted in the early 1970s with bipartisan support and signed into law by President Richard Nixon on June 23, 1972. Title IX's mandate? Colleges that took federal money had to offer men and women equal opportunity and educational courses. It broke down quota systems. Today, Title IX seems to be all about sports, but it is about education, not sports. You read that women's sports takes too much money away from men's sports programs, and it is Title IX that is to blame because colleges have to field women's teams whether they like it or not. Title IX is an educational opportunity law. There were a number of people who contributed to the passage of the Title IX reform, including two senators, Democrat Birch Bayh and Republican Ted Stevens, but it was House Democrat Patsy Mink of Hawaii who really faced discrimination. She played basketball in high school, but only half-court basketball because running up and down the court was too much for women. She was denied entry into medical school. She went to law school and became a lawyer and was denied the spot at a law firm because she was a married woman. Mink and Oregon Congresswoman Edith Green got the ball rolling in 1971 and somehow got the bill out of committee onto the floor. It got passed. Then it got into the Senate, passed there, and got to President Nixon's desk. Title IX didn't destroy education or sports. Women still face discrimination on college campuses, and Title IX is still being challenged. The 1972 legislation is not perfect, as there are still unresolved problems that need to be addressed, but overall, it has worked. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.